it today. Wonderful. What we are preaching, everybody got to obey. That's right. You're not too big for God, Mr. and Mrs. Big Stuff. <laughs> That's right. Nobody is too tough, too <laughs> educated, too smart, mm -hmm. too intelligent mm -hmm. for God. That's right. Even you atheists that are watching, mm -hmm. you That's may right. not believe God exists. He'll prove you wrong. That's right. Because said he, every eye gonna see him. That's right. Right now, you can walk around and wallow in your atheist beliefs that there is no God. If there is no God, explain the existence of the sun. Amen. Define the change of the moon. Oh, yeah. Who authorized the seasons and gave them permission to alter their course? That's right. Who gave the sea her decree? Who laid the beams of the chambers in the waters? Mm -hmm. Who laid the foundation of the north? Right. What power caused the earth to defy gravity and hang on nothing? That's right. Who done this? Who done this? Go ahead, brother. Who gave the winner charge? To blow from east to west, from north to south. Mm -hmm. Who voices that roaring through the heavens that makes the sound of thunder? That's right. That's right. Enoch said the brightness of his eyes, from the gleam of his eyes, came forth lightning. My Lord. And through the speech of his voice, thunder came forth. My Lord. Who is this? Who is this? The God in whom we speak of. He is not an image. No. He is not an owl. Hmm. I want you Illuminati followers to get this. That's right. God is not an owl. God is not a bird. Mm -hmm. God is not a calf. God is not a man. No. God is not a woman. God is not an image on a cross. That's right. God is not a painting on a wall. Mm -hmm. God is a spirit. Spirit. What kind? Mm -hmm. He addressed himself as the Holy Spirit. Holy. That's right. Holy represent the characteristics of the spirit. That's right. Because there are many spirits. Mm -hmm. But there's one that's the Holy Spirit. That's right. Holy Spirit means the infallible one. Amen. He that have no ending, he is the omega of all things and the alpha of all things. That's right. He is the beginning and the end, the first and the last, he which is. He which was and he which is to come, mm -hmm. he only is the almighty. That's right. All politicians in the earth, every bill that's voted into law, mm -hmm. supposed to be centered around the thinking of God. That's right. Every prince, every king, every imam, that stand in the mosque. Mm -hmm. Every rabbi that stand in the synagogue. Oh, yeah. Every preacher that stand in the church. Amen. Everything that come out of your mouths Go ahead, brother. must be centered around God. Go ahead. Any prophet or messenger that is on the scene today. Mm -hmm. And if their message contradict the God of heaven mm -hmm. and contradict the prophets or the messengers of the scriptures of yesterday, yeah. then these modern prophets of today, their message is no good. No good. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm talking? That's right. 
the messages of today that come from so-called men of God Go ahead, cannot, it's not allowed mm -hmm. to contradict mm -hmm. the scriptures. That's right. The scriptures is the foundation of the belief of all of the people of God. That's right. Notice what I said. That's right. I didn't say the scriptures is the foundation of everybody. No. No. It is the foundation of the people of God. I don't care if you're black as the street, white as snow, yellow as butter, or clear as water, or brown as cinnamon. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, Go ahead, brother. your belief mm -hmm. is not to be centered around a religious organization. That's right. Your belief must be centered around the scriptures. That's right. Did you hear what I said? That's true. Many of you that are watching and many of you that are here come from religious organizations. And you are more loyal to the organization than you are to God. To God. Amen. Now, I challenge Go glory to God to the highest. Go ahead. I challenge religious order. Mm -hmm. If religious order contradicts mm -hmm. the standard of the perfect one. Right. And the perfect one is God. That's right. Then religion have to change their order. That's right. To be fully compliant mm -hmm. with God. That's right. Preachers, preachers, preachers that are watching, rabbis that are listening, and imams that are watching. Amen. If your religious teaching mm -hmm. is not on the path of the straight and narrow. That's right. If it is not in full compliance, to you that are watching and you that are here, that's members of religion. Mm -hmm. Ask yourself, why do you believe certain things? Yes. Why are you participating in certain rituals? Mm -hmm. Do you know what you're doing? That's it. Do you know why you're doing it? Amen. Can you trace the origins of its beginning? Yes. Do you know the book says, God says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge? That's right. Knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. Ignorance is the worst form of bondage. Amen. You don't be a member of an organization because your daddy is in it. Go ahead. You don't be in an organization because your mama go to it. That's right. You don't be in an organization because you're raised in it. Mm -hmm. Knowledge is power. power. So if this religious organization mm -hmm. is not the reflection of God, I advise you to question your teachers. Question. Ask them why they tell you there's a trinity. That's right. And here's the Lord says, Hear, O Israel, mm -hmm. the Lord our God is one. one. Ask your religious leader, why do we have three? That's right. Ask them why there's a white Jesus hanging on the cross of your church. That's right. That's right. Ask them why there's a black Jesus hanging on the cross in your church. Amen. Ask them why is he teaching that the Holy Ghost is a third person Go of ahead. a Godhead? Go ahead. Am I right? Go ahead. You go in the church. Mm -hmm. You giving money. Yeah. Your eyes rolling all back in your head. <laughs> You're shaking and your wig getting crooked. Yeah. <laughs> Losing your eyelashes. Amen. Ankle chains getting disconnected. Mm -hmm. Men two pays is bouncing on their scalp. That's right. Think of it. That's right. How do you feel being a member of an organization 5, 10, 15, 20 years? Mm -hmm. Then you find out later 
they lie to you. Amen. Think. Think. You have sacrificed money to build churches, yes. mosques, synagogues. Oh yeah. You have took what men said, and out of fear that you have for these men, you too scared to question them. That's right. So they tell you, don't, don't, don't question God. You ain't God. Amen. Talk back to me. That's right. The book of scriptures. Why don't you give me your Bible, brother? There are no lies in here. No lies. And if there are no lies in here, why are there lies up here? That's true. That's right. How much plainer can I make? That's right. If a woman is a good cook, Go ahead, brother. and she make a peach cobbler, would it not be ignorant for us to expect a pound cake to come out the oven? Amen. Peach cobbler went in. Look for the pound. They ain't going to look for the pound to come out. No. Peach cobbler gonna come out. That's right. If truth is in here, and it is, and it is. please tell me what is the reason mm. that so many religions is on the earth now? Right. They're not in here. That's right. Talk back to me, Harrisburg. That's right. You got Baptist churches around the world. Am I right? Amen. Have you ever read a Baptist church in here? Mm -hmm. Then why are you a member? That's right. Go ahead, brother. Why are you a member? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You have the Jehovah Witnesses setting up churches, knocking on your door early in the morning, interrupting your fishing grits. <laughs> bringing comic books that's right who would ever think you can win people to Christ through comic books, no comic books. My Lord. was the apostles did Jesus teach his followers mm. to be Jehovah witnesses no 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 oh, no some of you are Catholic mm -hmm. glory to God have you ever found the Catholic religion in here? In here. Go ahead. Then why are you confessing to the priests? That's right. Why? That's right. You priests that are watching. Priests. Why you don't want to get married? You know you're having trouble downstairs. That's right. According to religious theology, religious history. Now, if any of you find this offensive, it ain't my problem. <laughs> We're going to call a spade a spade. That's right. The Catholics say Peter was their first pope. Mm -hmm. Peter was a married man. Yes, he was. It is written that Jesus killed his mother-in-law. Mother you don't get a mother-in-law by cropping tobacco. You got to marry some woman's daughter. That's right. So you go to church today, Pentecostal, non-denominational. That That's mean right. we ain't nothing. Nothing. Amen. We're just going to some church, Jack, but yeah. we ain't nothing in particular. No, nothing. Where did you come from? That's right. Mitt Romney? Where did the Mormon trash come from? That's right. It was discovered under a rock. My Lord. This is historical fact. Mm -hmm. It was discovered under a rock mm -hmm. in upstate New York. Yeah. Some strange tablets. My 
Lord. In New York. My Lord. An angel by the name of Ramona or Mamon supposed to have appeared to Joseph Smith. Mm -hmm. According to the history of Mormonism, Joseph Smith is called the God of this generation. My Lord. They say they have five gods. My Lord. Joseph Smith, Adam, Jehovah, and I owe him, then the creator of the world. My Lord. In the religion of Mormonism, the high priest that's called an apostle, he's supposed to be Melchizedek. My Lord. According to the scriptures, Melchizedek is God. That's God, that's right. For the book says about Melchizedek, mm -hmm. he's without father, without father. without mother, mother. have no beginning of days, no of which life. mean you always was. That's right. Have no end of life, mm -hmm. which means you always will be. Always will be. That's God. That's, that's right. In the religion of Mormonism, you can have all the wives you want. <laughs> My Lord. Before Joseph Smith died, he had over 40 or 50 something wives. My Lord. His partner in crime, Brigham Young, <laughs> didn't think he was too young. Amen. He had about 30 or 40 himself. And the preachers in Mormonism today can get all the wives that they want. You will see them in your neighborhood, young men with blue badges. They call themselves the elders. The elders. That's right. Mm. What kind of religious orgy mm. is this? That's right. That's what it is. Now, you would say to me, Pastor Jennings, you shouldn't speak out against religions. Why not? Why not? They on the map. That's right. Don't you want to know what you're doing is right or wrong? Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Brother Solomon teaches us, mm -hmm. by God's permission, he noticed that men had a lot of ways. That's right. They were loyal to them mm -hmm. and dedicated to them. That's right. I want to take you to school this afternoon. Mm -hmm. We don't have no pre-planned sermons. I never went to Bible school, brothers and sisters. I never did. No. School don't make preachers. Mm -hmm. Takes God to make a preacher. That's right. That's why we contradict your pastor. <laughs> I didn't come out to school he went to. I had the best teacher. I was taught by the best mind. Go ahead. God Almighty is my teacher. That's right. Listen. Proverbs chapter 14 and at verse 12. Give chapter and verse again. Proverbs chapter 14 and at verse 12. What is it? There is a way. Follow me, ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters, friends, and enemies. Amen. The book says, there is a way. Give chapter and verse again. Proverbs chapter 14, we're at verse 12. Listen. There is a way. There is a way. Which seemeth right unto a man. But Amen. what are the results? But the end thereof are the ways of death. Brothers and sisters, hmm. would you not want to know whether what your end is right? Or seem right. That's right. See, the human family today take this nonchalant attitude about religion. Yeah. <clears throat> so they say, you got your religion, I got mine. Mm -hmm. Don't push your religion on me. I ain't got religion. No. I got God. That's right. <clears throat> now, I strongly advise you, mm -hmm. <clears throat> whatever you profess to be this afternoon, you that are watching in Africa, Spain, Australia, Germany, Soviet Union, Ghana, South America, Canada, hmm. Australia, New Zealand, mm -hmm. Mongolia, and wherever you are. Wherever you are. 
Everybody's religion yeah. supposed to be the same thing. That's right. Everybody. Talk back to me. Everybody. Same. When God sent the prophets, mm -hmm. he sent them out to be the same thing. Same thing. The book says he spake mm -hmm. by the mouth of his holy prophets. That's right. He didn't care what color you were. No, he didn't care. If you was white and God wanted you, he made you a holy prophet. That's right. If you was black and God wanted you, he made you a holy prophet. That's right. If you was light-skinned, brown-skinned, fat, skinny, short, even if you are a dwarf, that's right. If God wanted you, yeah. he put some big words oh, yeah. in the mouth of that dwarf. That's right. That's right. If you were Hispanic brother yeah. and God wanted you, mm -hmm. God made you a holy, holy prophet. prophet. That's right. That means God wanted you to reflect him and to properly reflect him, you need his character. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to me? Go ahead. Go ahead. All these new religions, new religions. that's on the scene today, mm -hmm. where did they come from? Amen. How can you come and be legitimate today, years later, hmm. after the Lord said, mm -hmm. be holy? Be holy. If you profess to be anything else, who gave you the permission? That's right. Because whatever you profess, you're supposed to be what he tells you to be. That's right. Would you not agree? Amen. Would you agree that everybody's supposed to be what God said? That's right. And if you're not what God said, then ask yourself, who told you to be what you are? What you are. Amen. Who told you? Your mama? Go ahead. Your daddy? Yeah. Your granddaddy? Yeah. It is written. Who told you to be these things? Who told you to be a Mormon? Go ahead. Who told you to be an elf? Who told you to be a Mason? Go ahead. Who told you to be non-denominational? Who told you to be Pentecostal? Who told you to be apostolic? Who told you to be Catholic? Who told you to be African Methodist Episcopal? Go ahead, brother. Who told you? Your mama ain't good enough. No. Your daddy they ain't good enough. Oh, no. Who told you? Think. You coughing up all this cash, giving it to somebody. Oh, yeah. Who told you? Oh, yeah. You're faithfully working on religious committees, giving out pamphlets and flyers mm -hmm. to build up some religious group. Have you ever stopped to go to the book of scripture yeah. to find out whether that religion exists in here? That's it. Do you go to an ankle doctor to get heart surgery? Mm. No, no. Go ahead, brother. You go on to the wrong one. That's right. So before you brag about what you are, and before you try to recruit others, others to be what you are. That's right. Shouldn't you be sure what you're in mm -hmm. is the same thing that God is in? God is in. You can't determine what you're in represent God because of the crowd. No. Ah, uh, Jesus had 12. That's right. And God was with them. That's true. We look at something and say it's of God because it's a mega church. Right. That's right. And we say God have to be in that. Have to be in that. There was a prophet named Elijah. <laughs> this brother, he was the messenger of God. And he was up on a mountain one day. And it was said the Lord 
is going to pass by. Right. What do you mean? The Lord was going to deal with the prophet. That's right. And the devil knew it. That's right. So the devil test. Yes, he did. The wisdom of the prophet. Yes, he did. By trying to imitate the deeds of God. That's right. To see can the prophet differentiate. That's it. What was God? That's it. And what was of the devil? That's right. Do you know the difference, brothers and sisters, from the devil's religion? And God. Amen. Follow me in the scriptures. In 1 Kings chapter 19 and at verse 11. 1 Kings 19, 11. And he said, go forth. Go forth. And stand upon the mount before the Lord. And? And behold, the Lord passed by. Who passed by? The Lord passed by. The Lord. The Lord God of creation. Amen. He passed by. And a great and strong wind rent the mountains. Now, if you just read that right away. Right away. And a great and strong wind rent the mountain, you would say right away, the Lord did it. That's right. Mm -mm. That's See, right. one place it told you the Lord passed by. Passed by. It didn't tell you he'd done anything yet. That's true. I guess let you know he was around. That's right. But he didn't do nothing yet. That's right. He's there observing, mm -hmm. watching, because he knew he was not the only one there. That's right. There was another source there that was against him. Amen. Listen closely at the language of the scriptures. And behold, the Lord passed by. The Lord passed by. And a great and strong wind rent the mountains. Great and strong wind rent the mountains. And Tore them up, shook them up. But what? And break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. A lot of activity. Right. It broke in pieces the rocks in whose presence? Before the Lord. Oh, the Lord didn't know it. That's right. Another spirit was busy while the Lord was observing. That's right. It was done before the Lord. Before, that's right. He was just watching. Amen. Watching that spirit and watching his prophet. That's right. Saying, is he going to move? Amen. Because the prophet was already told, you go up there. Yes. Because I'm coming. Right. But uh, I want you to be able to identify me. That's right. You got to have knowledge to properly identify truth. Go ahead. Go ahead, brother. You got to have knowledge in order to identify the truth. That's right. That's right. A woman... That's a wise shopper. Mm -hmm. She goes shopping for washers and dryers and refrigerators and microwaves and toasters and the whatnots. <laughs> she want to look at that fine writing. Oh, yes. When a company come to sell you insurance, you got to search around, but then you got to ask questions. Mm -hmm. You got to look at the fine writing. Right. If you can't see it, pull out some helpers. <laughs> Why? You don't want to be duped, con later on. Amen. Before you declare loyalty yeah. to something, oh, yeah. Jesus said they error because they don't know the scriptures. the scriptures. Nor the power of God. Go into a religious building with a Bible on your arm, don't mean nothing. No. Do you understand what's under your arm? That's right. Can you get and decipher and explain and interpret the book you carry in? That's right. The devil know that most church people are ignorant. Ignorant. To the book. Oh, yes. That's why he can con you. That's right. That's why he can duke you. Oh, yeah. That's why he can lie to you mm -hmm. and give you a hype and get you all red up. Yeah. The happier you get, the more loose your wallet get. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. But you don't ask no questions. 